Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is The Case of Charles Dexter Ward by H.P. Lovecraft. Now, The Case of Charles Dexter Ward was published, was first published in 1941 in abridged form in a magazine called Weird Tales, but um, in 1943 it was published in its complete form in a collection called, uh, I believe the collection was called Beyond the Wall of Sleep, um, but I have the book in uh, this book. Um, this is a collection of stories, and apparently it's every story that H.P. Lovecraft ever wrote all in one collection, and of course the story I'll be reviewing is the case of Charles Dexter Ward. Now, um, like I said, it was uh, published, it was first published in 1941, then republished in 1943. Now, now, H.P. Lovecraft died in 1937, so this was published years after H.P. Lovecraft died, and now, apparently H.P. Lovecraft wrote this book in the 20s, and apparently he hated the book, that's why he never actually had it published, but, um, basically the book is about a young man named Charles Dexter Ward, and in the beginning of the book you found you find out how he went insane, but apparently he used to be a very intelligent young man, but apparently he went insane and, um, ba and he was admitted to a psychiatric hospital, and basically the whole book is really about what really happened, like what really caused him to go insane, and, um, what happens is, in the book, you find out that Charles became obsessed with an ancestor of his named Joseph uh, Kernwin. Uh, I think I'm saying his last name right, I'm not sure though, but basically this ancestor of his was kind of like a sorcerer um, who died in the 18th century, and it turns out that he did some really weird stuff, this uh, sorcerer. Um, apparently, he actually r had the ability to raise the dead, and what happens is, um, in the book you follow a doctor named Dr. Uh, Willett, I, th I think I'm saying his name right, uh, Willett, uh, hold on a second, um, hold on. Yeah, that was his name, Willett, and um, basically uh, Dr. Willett's trying to find out what really happened to Charles, and um, you know, and uh, basically in the book you find out that this ancestor of Charles named uh, Joseph Kernwin may have actually come back to life, and that's really all I want to say about the story, but I thought this was a pretty good uh, novella. Um, I will say I found it to be a little slow moving, but that's just me, and I and I don't think uh, just because something's s slow, it, like just because something's slow doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. But um, I found it to be kind of slow moving, um, you know. But that's just me, and um, but I thought it was a pretty good story, though. Um, now, what's interesting about the story is the story I believe is tied into the Cthulhu mythos, which um, because in the story you find out that Joseph Kernwin used the Necronomicon, which is a book from H.P. Lovecraft's stories, and, um, basically, uh, Yo, know, in, in the book they mention a god, um, it's not Cthulhu, it's another god, um, and I, it starts with a Y, but I can't pronounce the fucker's name, but, um, it's some kind of an evil god who's mentioned in the story, um, but it's not Cthulhu, though, it's, uh, another character that H.P. Lovecraft made up, which I think is, I think might be right up there with Cthulhu, like, I think this character has appeared in other stories by Lovecraft, but, um, yeah, um, I found it to be a pretty good story, even though it was a little slow-moving. Um, now, I still haven't read that many stories in this. Um, you know, I've read a few of them, but not a lot of them yet. I still haven't read the story The Call of Cthulhu, which is the story that pretty much introduces the Cthulhu mythos. And, um, you know, but I've read a few of them, and I, I'm hoping to read more of them soon. Uh, but yeah, that's my review on The Case of Charles Dexter Ward by H.P. Lovecraft, and bye.